Welcome back to Inside Tech Homo. Once again, we are talking about the Work Hard, Work Smart program that is just impressive overall. I have to definitely say it's neat to see all of the positive changes that it's going to have and already having here in our community. And, you know, joining us now to talk about a little bit more of the employer benefits, because we've heard a lot how it can benefit students and those looking for work, is Mr. Bob Payton. He is the president and COO for Sharp Iron Group. And Thank you so much for being here today, and you're one of those employers that is signed on to take part in this. Why was it so important for you to do that? Well, we're always looking for uh, new employees. We're, we're in a great position where we're growing uh, with the economy, uh, slowly, but we're growing. And so um, we, we have a lot of openings. We have a lot of skilled labor uh, in, in, our, in our shops. And so um, this is a, a perfect match, is to further identify exactly what skills those applicants have uh, when they come to our door. Um, as as I, I think Desi was, was talking about, that recruiting of, of new people is a, is a constant process. It's an agonizing process. Uh, people's emotions are, are always in, in play, uh, both the, the people doing the interviewing and, and, and the people who are being interviewed. And, and if you already know, if you've got something in front of you that says, here's these skills, it's already been proven that this person has these skills, it, it, it gives that applicant a, a definite, I think somebody said leg up. I mean, it's, it's the needle in the haystack. All of a sudden, right there it is. This is the person I really want to spend time talking to. Let's find out some more about those soft skills and, and, and find out if they're the right match personality-wise and all to, to, to match uh, with the coworkers that we have, with the environment that we have. Uh, but the skills piece is already taken care of. We, um, if we're looking for welders, we're not just looking for for welders. We're looking for welders who can pass a 3G test on flux core wire welding. Okay, so it, it keeps drilling down and, and further and further. And so if, if we know that they can pass that test just by looking at a piece of paper, when they walk in the door or when they send us a, an application over email or whatever, um, then we, it saved us a lot of time. Absolutely. And of course, obviously, time is money. So we can narrow down our search and, and talk to those people that we're very, very interested in, not get all the way to, to uh, uh, rounding third base with somebody and think it's a great person and then, oh, they don't have the right skills. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that's very disappointing and very disappointing for the applicant, too. So it's a big help. Um, it's, it's obviously not fully fleshed out yet, but it is getting there. And, and that's why we wanted to sign on to say, yes, we would support it. And, and we can't wait to start seeing those people come to us with those skills. Do you think, because she had mentioned a little bit about how there's three things they kind of focus on, you know, whenever it comes to the testing. And it sounds like it does, but just kind of, I guess, reiterating the point here, are those things that really fit with each job or whatever job you're looking for in your case? Definitely, because besides having openings in, in, in the plants, we, we've got openings in the office. And so there's, there's different times that you're going to have different skill sets. Obviously, that would be true in healthcare Absolutely. too, not, not speaking for you. But, mm -hmm. uh, you know, there's sometimes you're, you're going to need a nurse or sometimes mm -hmm. you're going to need somebody in administration, whatever. So uh, you really get to narrow down and not just, not just get a flood of applicants mm -hmm. that, that may or may not be the right fit for this job. And it is very competitive out there now. There are still too many people without a job. And, and, and uh, we, we want to get the right people in the job so that we don't you know, spin our wheels and, and, and run through people and, and get them in for 60 days and figure out that they're, they're not a good fit. So this is just one more way that you narrow down that search, make it easier on the employer, uh, obviously make it easier emotionally on the applicant so you're not talking to them and getting excited about it before you figure out that it's, it's right. not going to work. And so um, whatever that skill set is, whether it is somebody uh, for the office, if it's somebody that, that needs some sales abilities, um, if it's somebody that, that's uh, in, the, in the customer service or, mm -hmm. or purchasing realm where they really have to be uh, very analytical and, and very hard-nosed about things. Uh, I can see all kinds of ways that, that, that this can prove out to be a great time saver for us and, and help us identify the right candidates. So fair to say that there's not really a business here in Texoma that wouldn't benefit from this then, correct? Oh, if there's employers out there who would need, you know, this would be a great thing, I guess, to help them in narrowing down that field. Most then. definitely. Absolutely. Most definitely. Absolutely. I know retention is equally important to recruitment. And so just like Bob said, I mean, if mm -hmm. you can get somebody in there and you get it right the first time, that's just makes it all the better for your company. Absolutely. So and that's a good point. You know, sometimes you don't think about that. If you're, you're discouraged thinking, hey, the, it's so competitive out there, but mm -hmm. 
you know what, they are looking for the best, so just go ahead and take that opportunity to make sure you're the leg up, as we've Absolutely. been saying. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you so much for sharing the insight. I think it's neat to also hear from the employer's perspective, too, on all of this, and I know you're, I'm sure, always looking for more yes. to join. Um, anyone who would like to sign a letter of commitment saying that you recognize the National Career Readiness Certificate, you can get on our website, www.workhardworksmart.net, and click on the employer link, and just uh, you can fill out your letter of commitment there or send it in. You can give us a call at our office. We are always willing um, to speak to anyone to explain a little bit more about the program, and we're always excited to have a new employer sign an LOC, so please give us a call. Absolutely. We're excited too, you know, and hopefully we can check in with this again in the future and just have more and more to talk about. Yes. So that's exciting to see that growing here in a community that we all live in as well. Okay. So much more on how you can get involved if you're at home and you're thinking, hey, this is a great thing. I want to take part, whether you're an employer, as she mentioned, or you're looking for work. Just want to help have that extra leg up. We're going to tell you how to do that after the break here on Inside Tech Selma. Welcome back to Inside Tech Homa. Once again, I am joined now with the director of Work Hard, Work Smart, Ms. Tia Reed, and I appreciate you taking so much time today, you know, really to just explain this to us. And I know this is just going to take off, and we're just excited to, you know, show Tech Homa this program right whenever it's in the beginning stages, so to speak. So there's been a lot of talk of how this is really going to benefit people, and I know people at home are wondering, okay, where do I sign up? How do I do this? I'm, I'm very interested. Yes. Anyone can sign up to take their National Career Readiness Certificate Assessment. All you have to do, if you have a computer, you can get online, www.workhardworksmart.net, and click the big yellow box right at the top that says, I want to receive my National Career Readiness Certificate. You insert your information, and we'll give you a call uh, to give you your quick test code. And the quick test is uh, like a pre-assessment for the exam. It's uh, less than 15 minutes and it has some uh, similar questions as a regular assessment does and it'll let an individual know if they're ready to take oh. their National Career Readiness Certificate assessment because the assessment can take up to three hours we want to make sure they're ready and they don't waste their time or their money and the quick test codes are free for everyone so anyone can get it they can take it um, they can do their quick test online at their house they don't have to have a proctor it takes less than 15 minutes and it'll let them know if they're ready to take their assessment and if not they have the opportunity to do some free remediation through the same um, website that we give them and using the same access code and they can do that until they feel comfortable enough to take their assessment so this will save people time and their money and also um, help them um, ensure that they will do an excellent job on their assessment. Anyone who um, is a Wichita County or Wilbarger County resident who's unemployed or underemployed, again, can uh, take their assessment for free, and anyone else can take the assessment for $25. Also, you can call our office, stop by. We're located at Vernon College Skills Training Center, and um, stop by and give, talk to us. Or we can sign you up in person. Um, after you take your quick test, when you're ready to take your assessment, we'll give you a phone call or we'll meet up with you again to schedule your assessment and the assessments can be taken at Workforce Solutions North Texas, uh, Vernon College Century City, Vernon College Skills Training Center, and Region 9. So there's a lot of options yes. for people out there. accessible for everyone. <laughs> Absolutely and kind of just going back to you talked a little bit about the training if you feel you're not ready but even yes. if you take the assessment let's say you just didn't do as good as you had hoped there's that same training, the free training, yes. available, correct? Anyone can uh, take the quick test. It's free. We encourage everyone to take the quick test. And uh, you can do your free remediation online with it. If you take your actual assessment and you don't do as well as you would like, you can get back on and do some more free remediation. So we encourage everyone to take advantage of that opportunity. Absolutely. And, you know, I know you also have a website in place that people can go yes. to for more information. Are the businesses that are already involved listed there, or if you yes. would like to learn more about them? We have over 60 employers who have signed letters wow. of commitment, and they're all listed on the website. Something else neat about people who join the program is uh, we have a database that any all the employers that have signed on with us send us open jobs every week, and we will email those uh, wow. those existing jobs out to anyone who's taking part in the program. So we're helping the employers find the right people for their mm -hmm. jobs, but we're also helping people who receive their National Career Readiness Certificate find these jobs. So it's supply and demand. 
Such a win-win situation here. Well, thank you again for taking the time to really give us an inside look at this. And if you'd like to learn more, like she mentioned, they have a website. You can always head to our website for a link to that. That's newschannel6now.com for more information. We want to say thanks, Texoma, for taking time to join us this morning. As always, we'll see you back here next Sunday for another look inside Texoma.